fuck off. <laughs> what do you say? Well, everybody has their own taste, you know. And it was a different album, so it's Pale Communion. But it's not the. Uh, it's different also from Heritage. But... My reply would be, you're disappointing. I should not cater to your fucking needs. Fuck off. Yeah, I mean, we, we, uh, I would never talk anyone into liking a record. If they go like, I didn't like the last album, so why should I check out the new one? I would go, yeah, but there's a song on this that you might like because it sounds like older, but, you know, it's, it's not my style. If, if they like it, that's fine. If they don't, that's fine too, you know. Uh, we are not a corporation, you know, we don't work in terms of uh, like how corporations work. We don't necessarily uh, have a sales pitch, if you know what I mean. We put out a record and indeed it's a product for the record label but not for us, you know, it's a kind of a, a reflection of where, what, we, what we like right now. Uh, and even, even if we, we're always, we have a tale, like we have a past, uh, and fans, people who, who are into the band and they might like something from 10 years ago or 15 years ago or they might like, like the last album but it, it, like, like I said we, we are not salesmen if you know what I, mean. I think uh, it's, it all comes like Frederick said it all, all comes down to taste so we put it out if you like it that's great if you don't I'm not going to go yeah but this part sounds like uh, Ghost Reveries or Morning Rise you know I mean, <laughs> I liked that album at the time, and it's still, you know, it's part of our history as, as the other records. And Black Rose Immortal was, uh, that's a very long, so it's 20 minutes long song. I was happy, the, the reason why I was happy with that song is because it was 20 minutes long more so than, than I, I thought it was the best song on the album. We don't really have much, like the way I, I approached song, songwriting in, in those days is uh, different to how, how I, I approach songwriting now. But you mentioned, which I also felt with the, the, the song called um, Moon Above Sun, Sun Below, which I actually did write in, uh, in a more kind of... Uh, innocent way like it, it's more devoid of, of song structures uh, which is how I was writing on the first two records then on the third record I became you know I wanted to structure it a bit more but uh, I don't look back at Morning Rise as a, 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 the cr crown in our for, for me personally you know I was only 21 or something when I did that album and now I'm 25, you know, it's a long time ago. <laughs> People use the word metal, like it's not metal anymore. That's what we heard. That can have me comment a bit more than heaviness, because heavy, uh, if you play a, uh, what should we, a, uh, say a generic metal, new metal, like death metal record, yeah, it's going to come across as more heavy than heritage in terms of sound. But uh, I don't. It's not heavy. It's not a rewriting for good for me. You know, heavy is just heavy. You know, we could also do. Ch -ch 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 -ch, and it's going to sound heavy. You know, but what what does it do do for me? It doesn't do much for me anymore. But that term is fine. You know, I can relate to that if people say it's not as heavy as. Whatever. I think in a live situation we can pre still be pretty heavy, absolutely. Yeah. Because we did play the older stuff uh, as well, and we blended up, you know. I even heard uh, like pe people who might not like, the, say, the Heritage record, who seen those songs live, and it's like they're much heavier. 
live. You know, I don't know. I never seen this live apart from on the TV. But uh, the when people say that we're not metal anymore, I get a bit. You know, okay, what's metal then? You know, what's that? what is it to you? And maybe what it is to you is not how, how it is for me. You know, and it's been something I've been thinking a lot about. Because people use it as an insult, almost, to us. Play some fucking metal! Which we heard so many times during the, especially the Heritage Tour. And I'm wondering, what is metal in this kid's life? I think it doesn't resemble what's metal to me, if you know what I mean. But it's really, it's... it's uh, it's a, it's a, it's a never-ending discussion. It, it, it won't result in, in anything like aha, you know. It's just spam, if you know what I mean. I don't know. Yeah, maybe actually. There's a section in the middle of the album that's a bit lighter, which serves as an equilibrium for the. The overall, like the most of the songs on Pale Communion are pretty bleak, I think. But there's a section in the middle where it's a bit more uplifting. Uh, Heritage is not so uplifting, as far as I remember. It's pretty depressing. It's a bit more melodic, Pale Communion. Yeah. I'd say that. Maybe it's easier to for some people to. That's more sing like sing alongy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's because uh, it's in a way a bit rare for Opeth because the song flows all the way from the beginning to the end. Doesn't, doesn't have any breakdowns or anything. No. Which usually it doesn't have the, the, the obligatory acoustic stop. You know? <laughs> it's all like. It's, uh, i never written a song like that before, really. Uh, record label Happy. Because it was the obvious single. But for us, singles is like, yeah, what is it? You know, it's just a vehicle to promote a record they want to do a video and they want to do a, a, a single like it's so different for a band like us we put out a single I don't really know what it means to be honest it's like have you heard the new single when you talk about pop artists and stuff like that the single carries the whole album but this is a way to uh, just make it known for people that we have a record out or something like that it's not the best song, necessarily, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I love the song, but it's, you know, it's, they, they don't pick singles in terms of that's the, the, the best song. I think they pick the easier songs that most, like, they think that a larger amount of people can understand. And whether it's good or bad, I have no idea. And singles for us is just something people from the record label said, this is going to be the single. And since I think, on my part at least, I, don't, I could care less what's the single. If they say the 10 minute song is the single, I'm like, fine, sure, you know. Um, so they pick the singles and we say, fine, you know. Uh, and it's interesting that you said that it's a long song that feels shorter, which is, I like, that's a, a, a compliment for me, you know. It would be, I would be more sad, so to speak, if you had said, you know, it's a, it's a it's a three minute song. It feels like ten minutes, you know. <laughs> yeah, but that's not true. Stephen Wilson did the mix, uh, and uh, he has he's been important for me as a, as a musician, but we have not let him. Uh, make decisions over our heads, if you know what I mean. I think uh, me and Fredrik worked together on this. Uh, me and Fredrik probably... Uh, he, he was constant in the process of the writing of the record. Uh, and, like, I, I played some ideas to him and he said if he liked it or not. Besides, he, he worked on his guitar solos on this album. So... I mean, if you would listen to the demos 
for instance, what Martin Axner and Martin Mendes did in this album, if he would A, B, listen, what they contributed with, he would probably not think like that. No. It's just, I mean, to, I think people like to, to make someone, in this case me, out as some type of dictator who's just forcing my ideas through. And yeah, I'm pretty headstrong like that, you know, and I like to think I'm a creative person in that sense that I write a lot of music. Uh, but it's still like the same like it was back in the day. If I write a song and the other guy's like, fuck, I don't like that. I hate that song. That's a horrible song. I'd probably go, okay, let's uh, try and write something else or uh, maybe I get angry. But, uh, you know. That's what happened on the Heritage album when you wrote some songs and Martin Mendes yeah, yeah. said he didn't like it. So you threw him away or some of it. Yeah, I had, the, yeah, I had a couple of like metal songs, heavy songs. And he was like, this is not what you should be doing. And I was like, I knew it already. I'd just been fooling myself, I guess. Trying to maintain a career or something. Well, I didn't really want to do that, which really goes against the essence of this band. We do what we want to do, and we're fortunate if somebody else likes it. That's been the what defined us. We have never catered to public opinion. And I hope we'll never will. But then again, we always been, you know, this is our job. And this is what, you know, we pay, pay the bills and, you know, put dinner on the table and stuff like that. Uh, and we have families and stuff like that now. But it would be a sad day, the day that we compromise in order to put bratwurst on the table. Well, not taking away anything from anyone who worked in the past, but producers, we never had producers. I think it's been a mix-up. For me, I didn't understand what producer meant in the beginning. It said produced by this and that, you know, but what it really means is the, the music. I mean, I thought producer meant engineering. Producer made the sound. But producers are people who work actively with the music, trying to make the best song happening, and we never really had that. I mean, we had engineers like Jens, who have had suggestions about some part or whatever, but it's not enough to have a production credit, I don't think. So Jens has more been an engineer, but he's also been guiding us in terms of what sound he think is, is good for us, and good for this and that song. Uh, but I, I'm, I, I can't put that on the level of production. When the songs have been written as meticulously as they have been in the past, whatever, three, three or four records, I like to think that they were produced by the time we went into the studio. And when we're there, it's just a, a matter of setting up the sound that we should have, if you know what I mean. But even if I produced the songs, because I wrote the songs and I wrote for many of, like for, for all of the instruments, once we're in the studio, it's uh, everybody's opinion is, is valuable and this is because I'm so restless and a bit uh, you know I want to get going like with the guitar sounds where Fre Frederick took bossing of that situation like this is what we should do and we should try everything and see where that leaves us while I'm like just yeah it's good enough let's just play you know just yeah I remember I was going. recording the solo yeah that's good keep it let's go on yeah. no I actually had to ask Michael to step out of the room. Yeah, yeah. It's like, can you go out? <laughs> but it's really valuable because, you know, um, I think that's a good teamwork, if you know what I mean. I don't tell them what to play. I tell them if I like it. I write the songs, but I don't tell them, you have to play like this. You know, I become a producer in the studio too, saying, like, maybe we should try this and that out. Yeah, the artwork is done by Travis, and he's been with us since 98, 99, Still Life was his first 
um, job for us. Uh, really interesting to work with him to see how he, how much I can push him. You know, I, I can come up with the, usually come up with the concept of the artwork. Um, and sometimes he has just sent me a picture randomly. Like, I just did this as a test. And that's like, wow. That happened for the Ghost Reveries record. And for the Watershed record. Just sent. Or maybe Watershed was more involved. But he sent me pictures and I'm like, that's amazing. That's, that's the cover. But for Heritage and for this new one, I've been actively uh, trying to come up with a concept. So we are working with it now. And it's, it's a triptych. Uh, a, a collection of three paintings you could say that's in turn going into a whole new painting and it's like a story of li life you could say between the three pictures uh, I think it's going to be really nice I want it to have like a medieval touch almost like a, a religious undertone even if we're not religious at all I like those kind of uh, almost like medieval paintings that there's so much stuff going on there and it's so much symbolism like there can be a a, um, a plant of a certain origin that has a purpose it's there because it means something if you know what I mean so that's what I wanted to have like lots of symbolism going on uh, it's not packed with information it's, it's pretty easy to decipher what, 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 the, what the story is, is behind the these paintings, if you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, the, the idea is for it to, to look really old, oil painting, you know, whatever it is, yeah.